Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to be making some fajitas. Recently I received some outside skirt steak from Matador Prime Steak. Now this is the good stuff. This is ANGA certified. Uh, this is, you may have heard of inside skirt steak, but this is the outside. This has got so much flavor. Uh, when I show you this, you'll see all the marbling. Um, this is a very underrated piece of meat, I believe, because um, it's got a lot of flavor going on here. So let's go ahead and get started on how we're going to prepare this meat. All right, as you can see, it's got a lot of nice fat in here. Uh, nothing that's going to not render down. What we're going to do is a reverse sear on this. So let's go ahead and put our olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil. This has got a lot of areas that the flavor can seep into the seasonings. There's a lot of separation into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut across the grain like this so it won't be tough when we make our fajitas. And we're going to use a couple coatings of this. The first one we're going to be using is by Heaven Made Products. It's incredible. We're just going to put a light coating in it. This is like a salt, pepper, garlic. We're just going to put a light coating of this, nothing real heavy. both sides okay and this is something new I got in from heaven made products this is their uh, fabulous fajita mix so we're gonna put that on there this is not quite as fine rub as it's incredible All right, now we're gonna let this sit until we get our coals ready. All right, it started raining outside, so we had to kind of bring this into our little shop here. So we're gonna go ahead, we got about 20 hot coals going on, and I'm gonna add about 20 more coals to this. We'll let our temp get up to about 225, 250 and then we'll get our skirt steak on. All right, we got our skirt steak on and I chopped up some onions, got a little salt and pepper, olive oil, butter. We're gonna kinda let this sit in there. Get this caramelized real good. So we'll let this sit. Look at it probably around 100 degrees internal. And then we'll start searing this bad boy. All right, we're gonna get a quick sear on this. Let's put some more charcoal in here. All right, we're getting this a nice sear on this. It shouldn't take long at all. All right, we got this flipped over, and we are just about done for these fajitas, guys. All right, guys, our skirt steak is done. Got us a nice char on here, so I'm excited to go ahead and cut this up. First of all, guys, I want to show y'all something that I got in the mail from Meathead Knives. This is their Serbian Chef knife. This is one awesome knife, guys. Look at the craftsmanship of this. These are handmade. Um, the weighting is perfect on this. You would think it's kind of big here. It'd be kind of front end uh, heavy, but the weighting, the balance is awesome. And they are super, super sharp. So again, this is a Serbian chef knife from Meathead Knives. Let's go ahead and cut into this. I want to try to cut in it so we can uh, cut little uh, strips. So we're gonna cut right here first. And then let's cut some across the grain. Look at that. Look at that right there. Hopefully you can see if the lighting is good. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful cook perfectly that's probably medium to medium rare 
That is absolutely beautiful, guys. You're cutting it across the grain right here, this way to be tender. So, look at that. All right, guys, let's make us a heater right quick. Get us our tortilla shell, some strips of this strip, this uh, skirt steak. Look at that, golly, that looks great. Some of those grilled onions. We like these really caramelized. A little bit of queso cheese. Some of my homemade smooth salsa. I have to share this with you guys sometime, but we like it smooth. There we go. Here we go, guys. Mm. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see in there. It is super juicy, guys. That is it's pure running off the back here. That is one tasty, tasty skirt steak. That seasoning, heaven made products, the fajita, along with a little bit of that. Uh, and it's incredible, great combination, perfectly cooked with those grilled onions, that queso cheese, homemade salsa. Man, this is this is so good. Um, I highly recommend guys going to Matador Prime Steak, checking out that whole line. Get you one of these. If you're not sure how to, to cook them, go online, do a little research. Hopefully this will help you out a little bit. It was super easy. And you can get a great, great, great tasting steak. Not just for fajitas, but if you just want to cook this and use it as a regular steak. But Guys, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you will continue to watch us and tell all your friends about it. If you haven't subscribed, guys, please consider subscribing. God bless.